Morning, guys. Um, <laughs> I meant to record this yesterday, but I just got so swamped, I ended up having to go grocery shopping and run a whole bunch of other errands. Um, so today is the uh, <clears throat> continuing segment of makeover uh, project for me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and tackle it straight out, okay? Um, I am going to, at, in about in about an hour, I'm going to go and have a consultation for laser hair removal. Um, a lot of women, okay, have uh, the ability to grow facial hair, which, as we know, yeah, it's unattractive, but unfortunately, we can't help it. Um, sometimes it's our uh, hormonal balance that's off that causes it. Um, others, it's just, I don't know, nature? I don't know how else to say it. Um, so, unfortunately, yes, I have the ability to grow facial hair in places that I don't want it. So, I have elected to go and have um, facial hair removal, laser hair removal, um, and I'm making my breakfast right now, sorry guys, um, and so um, <clears throat> I've got a, a consultation for that, um, hoping to get that taken care of and be able to show you guys, um, I don't know if they're going to let me uh, record in there or not. Um, so I'm actually kind of hoping that it that they will, and that way I can kind of show you guys what's going on. Um, I am making, for those of you wondering, I am making a chocolate banana smoothie. Um, I'm a big smoothie freak. Hang on one second. Um, so <laughs> uh, anyway, I, that's that's my makeover project for uh, this month. Um, I am actually looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I've had this problem for for a while, um, and I've I've done just about everything you can think of to get rid of it. I've done waxing, which it just grows back. And it grows back thicker. I've done um, the the creams, you know, where you melt it off or whatever, and they just they smell and they burn. And I've got my skin is is a little more sensitive, uh, and I would prefer not to do that again. Um, I've <laughs> I've shaved it. I've you name it, and I've done it. Um, so for me, I've just gotten to the point where <clears throat> where I have decided that I just need to go and tackle it head on, get it done, and be done. Um, so I'm hoping to, to go ahead and have that appointment today and, and get, get the first part of it started. Um, I will say though, it is a costly uh, procedure. Um, so for women that are out there that are considering doing it, take in all your options. Um, there are some places that do it for, um, you know, in sets of like four or five for a certain amount of money. There are some that will um, that will take into account that you can't afford that lump sum of money right then so they will actually um, break it down and you can pay them in installments um, some places won't they want the full amount right then right there if that's one of those places where they want the full amount make sure that if you decide to go with them make sure that on the receipt it says that if you do not complete the the full set that you will get a certain amount of money back if it doesn't, don't go there. I learned that um, through another friend 
who was going through pretty much the same thing. Um, she wanted to go and have laser removal and she paid out, I believe she paid over $600 for a set of, I believe, five, for five treatments. And she was unable to complete all five. She could only do the first two. Um, and after the second one, she started having reactions. Um, to the not to the late to the laser treatment itself, but to the creams they were using afterward, um, and she asked them, you know, is there any way we can not use the cream? Can we use something else? And after going back and forth, they finally said, look, you know, we can't we can't continue the treatments because you're having the reaction. Um, and so she asked for her money back, and they told her, no, you know, money paid is money paid. Tough luck. So if the, if the, the place that you have decided to go does not uh, do money refunds, if you can't complete the set, don't go there. Um, look into your different options. Check out what's out there. Also, when you're checking out places to get it done, Make sure that you uh, make sure that you uh, check out the facility first. Make sure it's clean and it's tidy, and it's not one of these hole-in-the-wall quickie places. Um, I'm actually going to a real clinic, and so that's why I feel a little bit safer. It's an actual clinic. Clinic. It's not like a a nail salon spa thing um so i'm at it's actually a clinic and i'm gonna go check it out um for those of you who can't see it i get it here on my sides and my chin and my neck area and of course the lip every almost every woman has the lip area at some point so um with that said you guys um i will see you there in about about an hour. All right, I'm gonna get my breakfast going and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, okay, I'm here at the uh, doctor's office and we're getting ready to start a procedure. We're gonna do my lip first. Um, they won't let me record today. She may let me record next session. So let's keep our fingers crossed. All right guys, well I gotta go because she's ready and I gotta do this before I check it out. All right, thanks for watching. Hey guys, okay, so I just got done with my first um, laser treatment. See, my, my upper lip is really kind of red and a little bit sensitive. Um, it did hurt for all of like two seconds. Um, if any of you have ever had tattoos done, it kind of feels like that. Like the needle just going in real quick. Or um, like the doctor described it, uh... <clears throat> A rubber band snap on you know if you were to to take a rubber band and snap it on your lip that's pretty much what it feels like so um, she also gave me a uh, stuff to like a, a gel to put on my my upper lip on my my lip to help with the redness and um, basically to, to kind of help ease it a little bit it doesn't really hurt, it just, you know, it's that after stain. So, um, if you really want to know, take a rubber band, pull it back as far as it'll go, and snap it on your arm. And that's how it, how, how it feels. <clears throat> and then the after stain, you know, that, that hangs on for a couple seconds. So, um, that's pretty much it. Alright guys, well I'm going to head home, and I'm going to take the dog out for a run. He's been itching to get out, and... I need to go run myself just to kind of burn off some of this uh, extra weight. So I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.